Starting off another year of fantasy football, where we see whose spoon reigns supreme. We already know of four individuals whose spoon was just outmatched. as people being Calder, the player formerly known as Zach Scoggins, Galt, and Skeet, who were spoonanimously decided on the, uh, the the spoon classic year two of the spoon classic. Again, spoon feeding nonetheless. But we're here to preview. The outlook to see who will dethrone Clay because we all know it's going to happen. We all know it's going to happen, and uh, it's it's going to be a, a great season. We're we're happy to be back. Um, we're, we're happy to be back. So let's just dig in right into it. We're going to look at the league overall, and we're going to just look at pre standings and projections. So right now we've got number one tier two tyrants. Uh, I believe that's Scoggins. He's not good, so that's not going to worry. Um, coming in second right now, projected is Andrew with Catch D. Shanahan's, Shanahan's, which, uh, again, if you just don't trade with the man, he, he won't literally he won't do anything. His, his eye for talent is putrid. All he does is find people and trade for them. Um, the Fighting Gales coming in at third projection right now. Again, uh, Skeet is so bad. That's really all I need to say. Big big, big jump here. Uh, the Spoon Classic, which I believe is golf, has jumped from fourth to seventh. Now, there must have been some kind of trading or something involved in that. You know, obviously, golf's not good. Um, so, we'll just kind of have to see how far down he trickles. <laughs> Seventh's pretty high for him. <laughs> uh, you got Gary with going from in fourth place now after the Galt move. Um, Gary, we're just happy you didn't draft the San Francisco running back, or should I say the entire San Francisco offensive staff. Next uh, is the Tremel LLC. I'm assuming that you know means liability, lie, wage. Um, He's coming in fifth right now. You know, he's already off to a better pace. He didn't draft Joe Mixon. Literally, Alex, the, 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 I mean, the ceiling is yours at this point. You started with the amount of dirt that is Joe Mixon. You wouldn't let go of this amount of dirt. And now look at you. Look at you. You're flying high. You, you developed yourself into LLC. Can't wait to uh, buy some stock in that so it'll tank. Uh, but you do get spoon fed. Next is Evan, uh, sixth place right now. Uh, Evan, uh, you know, Evans is kind of there. Not really relevant to playoffs. He's kind of there, so whatever. Um, our defending champ, Mr. Holbrook, back where he belongs in eight. That sounds about right, you know. Um, sounded like last year, him and the girl, they took the homecoming, kind of took a break. Uh, they should be back together now, so eighth place is a pretty good fit. Ninth, and this is how I know this league is just illegitimate, is yours true, the Cheese Empire, which is going to be number one. Um, you know, you look at the raw tray uh, drafting ability that this guy's got, um, you know, big names such as David Johnson um, made Tyree Kill go off. Um, Jeremy Langford made him go off. Um, Tyler Boyd's beginnings, uh, Kareem Hunt. It's just the list goes on and on of, of, of just solid pickups that this guy has seen. He really does his research very well. And um, lastly, I, I'm assuming this is Calder. This might be Scoggins. Um, I'll, I'll look right now, actually. Standings, let's see. I'm going to assume it's Calder. Uh, yeah, led by Lamar Trashton, which, yeah, fifth place. Again, one of those guys just has no eye for good talent. Um, wants to just literally just trade to – for uh, feed a habitat, you know, there is an addiction line. It's it's open 24 hours, seven days a week for everyone in this in this draft. Not directly talking to Calder, but hey, if the shoe fits where <laughs> um just just be aware there is help out there for you. No one wants Raheem Mostert and David Singletary. No one wants Raheem Mostert 
for Devin Singletary. And there you have it. You know, we've got uh, we got a few uh, big matchups. We're going to look through them right now. Let's see. We'll, let's just pick a, a good matchup. Uh, we'll start with Clay since Clay was the defending champion. Uh, going up against the former, former champion, that is Alex the Spoon. Uh, right now, Alex is projected to win. Shocking, he doesn't have Joe Mixon, and he's projected to win. Coincidence? I think not. Um, we don't have the any highs or lows to project just again. This is because it's preseason, but we can't um, we can't assume that Joe Mixon will will start a rampageous pace of four points per game per usual. Um, Trammell is is led by Tyreek Hill, um, Allen Robinson. That's that's pretty good. And then countering that with Clay, Mr. Henry, uh, newcomer Najee Harris, and and late bloomer Justin Herbert of last year. So. Really good matchup there. Um, we'll look forward to seeing how that's going to go out. Again, you know, beginning of the year, no one really knows what's going to happen except for Joe Mixon only going to get four points. Calder's going to make 15 trades. It doesn't help him at all. And um, Andrew's not going to be able to draft a single player that's going to either stay healthy or is going to produce any fantasy points. So if you just don't trade with him, he will not be a threat to you. Again, just don't trade with him. But as always, we wish you the best here at 105.5 The Chess. I am Jess, and we will catch you next time.